Hi guys, I'm Alexandra and I'm a mother of eight. I've got um, four boys and four girls and I've been homeschooling for about 10 years now. And recently I've just bought some new books for the children to use for language arts and I just wanted to share those with you now um, in case you're interested in teaching your children language arts and you're looking for something new. So the books I've got are by Master Books and they're called Language Lessons for a Living Education and I've got book one and book five. They use a Charlotte Mason approach, which I really like. They kind of try and bring the work more to life. So the reason I got these books is because previously to getting these, I was mainly using a Waldorf curriculum and it was getting quite difficult because I've got so many children of different ages to teach. And with Waldorf, you really have to be very specific about what you teach to what age child. So I was having to do lots and lots of different lessons and it was just too much. I couldn't couldn't keep up with it all. So I wanted to get these books because they've got nice quick lessons in and it just means that the children can just be consistent and do their lessons each day. The lessons take between about five and 15 minutes um, per day and they're not too difficult which um, I prefer I just prefer them to be able to gradually master something than really struggle with difficult concepts all of a sudden so I have got book one and I wanted to try this for my six-year-old and my eight-year-old and my eight-year-old is finding it a little bit too easy and my six-year-old is finding it a little bit too difficult at the moment so um, I'm still getting my eight-year-old to work through this and I am focusing on getting my six-year-old ready to start this properly in September when we start the new school year. And uh, what's good about these books is that the pages are perforated so they all come out and then I just photocopy them. Well, <laughs> this funny story, if you saw one of my vlogs recently, I had a brainwave because for years I'd been photocopying textbooks, so as a child reached that age where they needed that book, I would photocopy it for them. Um, so each time it'd take me quite a long time, but then I had this brainwave of actually, why don't I scan the book to a file on my computer and then whenever a child reaches the age where they need that book, I can just print it straight out. So that's what I do now and that saves me tons of time. Um, and it's just brilliant because now I can also print on both sides of the paper and save loads of paper, whereas when I photocopy the book, I can only do one side at a time. So yeah, very good. <laughs> so yeah, so at the moment, um, my eight-year-old is working his way through this book and then um, in September, I'll get him to start uh, book two. With book five, I got this for my 10-year-old and um, it's reasonably easy for him, but he's just going to work his way through this throughout the summer holidays because, like I said, it only takes five to 15 minutes a day. So I just want him to work his way through that and then in September be ready to start book six. One thing I really like about these books, well, in, especially in book five, are the um, spelling lists that you have at the back of the book. Now, this is a, an optional thing that you can do, but what we do is each week we do a spelling test and uh, I just think that's really handy to have all the words there ready to do the spelling tests. And the words are included um, within their week's lessons as well, so they are using them in context. Another thing I love about these books is that they are what you call an open and go book, so my children just know which page they need to be doing that day and they can just go and get on with it themselves. Sometimes they might need me to help them a little bit, but generally they can do it themselves, which is fantastic. It saves me lots and lots of time and we can just keep very consistent with our work. So these are our language art books and they it says students will build on and reinforce essential communication skills as they achieve proficiency in grammar, vocabulary, reading comprehension, spelling and written comprehension, independent reading and mastery of effective sentences and paragraphs at the heart of this course. Um, and it goes on a little bit more. And then it says for the daily schedule, day one, focus on a short story, 
special feature, picture study, poem or proverb. Day two and three, learn to apply grammar rules effectively and strengthen your writing skills. Day four, enjoy a short biblical account and narration with narration, sketching and verse memorization. And day five, improve spelling, expand vocabulary usage and master writing skills. So that's roughly what they do on a weekly basis. Something that is quite annoying is how expensive these books are. Here in the UK they are about £30 each, which I think is such a lot of money. <sighs> really, I mean, do they have to be quite so expensive? I don't really think they do. But anyway, that's how much they are. And so that's why I copy the books to a file on my computer and then print out each time for the child that needs it rather than buy one of these books per child when they reach that age if that makes sense because I'd have to buy so many so yeah they are quite expensive but um, worth it if you can afford it I do like the fact that they're not super complicated or difficult it's just a slow gradual building up of learning the different things for grammar and so on. It's, um, yeah, it's very gentle and I quite like that. One thing that you might not be keen on, I wasn't particularly keen on, is the fact that there's so much Bible stuff in these books. I think that when you teach your children religion, it should be like a personal thing. I don't think it needs to be included within all their workbooks. So that kind of, I'd prefer it if it wasn't in there so much, but I liked the book so much that I overlooked that part of it and just thought, well, it's not like I find it offensive or anything, it's just I do feel like religion should be taught by parents, it's a personal thing, it shouldn't be taught from workbooks for grammar, you know, but that's just my little personal thing. Overall, I would definitely recommend these books. I'm pleased that we've got the books now and I will definitely be getting more of them in September when we start the new school year. And I'll be having um, three of my children working through them then. So yeah, that's something that we're really looking forward to. So the book consists of 179 days of work. So that's easily enough to last the year if you include your holidays and at the back you've got teacher aids um, and all different extra things like different games that you can play to help you with your grammar and comprehension and stuff and then you've got the spelling tests and spelling rules loads of different extra things that are very helpful anyway i really hope my little review of these books has helped you in some way um, let me know in the comments below what you think, whether you've tried them before or whether you're thinking of trying them and what it is you do and don't like about the books. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I shall see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.